and uh, how the solar system, like, <laughs> it's difficult to explain. Um, Hello and welcome to Sutherland. Three and a half hours out of Cape Town and what a road. I uh, wasn't expecting the road from the N1 into uh, Sutherland. About an hour's drive but windy, hilly road. Um, we're staying here in Sutherland. The artist cottage. Kind of eccentric. Something different. This is what it is. Old school. This house must be easily 200 years old. And it must have been something else looking at all this, the steel beams here. I'd like to get some history on this place. But yeah, the artist cottage here in Sutherland. Let me show you around. So, quite neat, very quirky. Two or three days stay. Let's do this. Sutherland, I've never been here before. This is my first time. Just by looking at the things online, I've got a lot that I want to do around in the area. Let's go for a drive. After a very exciting uh, shopping experience here at uh, the OKs, uh, the only shop here in the town. Uh, we're going back to go and make some food. We've made an appointment now for the planetarium um, and stargazing for 7 and 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, so yeah, we're going to just put in what we can tonight and then see what happens tomorrow. But yeah, uh, we are currently at 11 degrees Celsius here in the area. And uh, we need to start the fire <laughs> for braying and for keeping warm. So yeah, back to the place. Let's eat something. Okay, so I found the planetarium now just to find out about what's going on. So there's a 3D show and then there is a stargazing thing that you want to do. So the 3D show is what you want to watch before you do the stargazing because it gives you like where the planets are and all these kind of things. So I don't know anything about astronomy. I want to learn these kind of things right now and that's why we came around here to come and check these things out so what we decided to do is seeing that the fire is taking long and we never ate yet we're going to rather just chill tonight and then tomorrow morning we're going to go and check out the 3d show then we're going to go and look at the biggest telescope in the southern hemisphere and then the evening we're going to do the star gazing so a big day plan for tomorrow um, but yeah for tonight we're just going to enjoy the fire and eat something i mean just to look at stuff and check out outside it is super clear outside here i mean i understand what they mean there's there's no breeze nothing like that there is no wind here nothing but it is cold it is unbelievably cold so yeah let's just get warm by the fire <laughs> Out of fire is not going to work tonight. Definitely. That's the reason why I chose this place is I knew it was going to be cold here. Yeah? And they've got an indoor braai fireplace kind of thing. So that's why I chose this one. So when you are booking on booking.com, have a look around, check out the places. I just thought this just this place worked for our needs, um, especially the fireplace, knowing that it's going to be cold here. Yeah? My son's with me and he doesn't like the cold. So <laughs> but I gave him a warning. I said, bring enough jackets, bring enough blankets, and uh, we can just do it from there. But yeah. Um, 
so far the area is nice i'm enjoying myself today nice and relaxed nothing too hectic uh, but tomorrow we are having some action um i bought some uno cards with we're gonna play uno <laughs> it's one of those places there's no tv and nothing perfect place just to chill and just have some family time The next morning. It took them a couple of hours to shower. We're done. We're going to go see the 12 o'clock. Uh, what's it? The 3D show. Okay, we're going to go see the 3D show now. So, yeah. Sutherland. This is what you do when you're in Sutherland. <laughs> One of the attractions. Let's go check it out. Wow, wow, wow. That was very, very interesting. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was an interesting experience. Um, I've never ever done something like that before and I didn't expect something like this in a dorpy like this. It's very difficult to explain. I can't explain this. What? <laughs> I can't explain what, what, what actually happened here now. It's, it's something you must come through to come and see, but that was, that was cool. I mean, they got this projector, it projects up onto this thing and then it plays this video, but it plays like how the planets and how the so and how the solar system, like, <laughs> it's difficult to explain. Um, but yeah, this is something you must come and experience. Um, it's 100 bucks a person at all. And just, uh, just take the time to come out here and come and check this thing out. It's definitely, definitely worthwhile. Definitely worthwhile. My eyes are still hurting now. I need to go in. I didn't bring sunglasses with me now. So it's, it's a dark room now. <laughs> Ooh, but yeah, something worth checking out. Big time. So after the planetarium visit, uh, we went over through to the SAAO, the Southern African Astronomical Observatory. This is a place where all different countries host their telescopes uh, and they log on via internet onto their telescopes here in Sutherland. Um, uh, Sutherland obviously a very favorable spot to, to, to place telescopes so all the different countries from around the world have their own telescopes over here and here we'll be driving around here you can see these are all different telescopes from different countries we also had the opportunity to go and see SALT uh, that is the South African Large Telescope um, it's the biggest telescope in the southern hemisphere and it was actually interesting to check out the telescope and they explained to us how the telescope works and uh, showed us how it moves around and opens up. So it was a really, really interesting visit. Uh, you should definitely go and have a look at this and definitely add this to your bucket list. What a lovely experience. Um, I'll leave all the links to bookings uh, for the SALT telescope as well as the planetarium below in the video's description. Um, I totally fell in love with the Karoo um, on this trip and I definitely will be going back to and record some more things out there. Definitely one for the books. A few moments later. We've done the 3D show. We've done the big telescope. We've done the restaurant in town. So we've done basically everything already. It is just to go and actually look at the stars. <laughs> so
So we're going to the planetarium now. We're going to go and check it out. And um, I don't know what to expect because I haven't looked through a big telescope before. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Let's go. Okay. This is hectic. It's in the dark. <laughs> Good evening, good evening. Thank you very much. So this area is just behind the planetarium. They have their own area with their own telescope over there. And it's a kind of a guided tour to the stars. Uh, so we had a very uh, clued up gentleman there trying to show us that uh, are like totally newbies to the stars. Uh, and he was basically just explaining to us how the stars form and how the stars die and things like that. There were no planets in the sky at the time that we went through, uh, so we weren't actually able to see any planets there, but um, it was very interesting having a look at the stars. And the night sky was so clear, we were even able to take photos of some of the stars. So just an indication of what the stargazing is about. You wouldn't think that something like this can be done in a dorpy so far away. Uh, these are very educated people, people that are very passionate about what they do. And um, I've learned so much today and <laughs> today was like a school trip. Uh, um, we've done so much today and uh, uh, it will stick with me forever. This is something you need to come out and go and check by yourself. You can't explain this. Uh, it's, it's, it's a very, very difficult thing to put on camera. It's a very difficult thing to explain. Um, but if you have the time and you do have the money to come out here to come and check this out, uh, it's not expensive. I mean, you're doing a holiday anywhere else. Come through, come educate yourself and learn something because there is a lot to learn out here and there's a lot to experience out here. Um, I think that's just the night uh, for us. Besides the stars, one thing that you will experience if you come at this time, I'm, we are here recording in August, is the coldness. It is cold here. <laughs> the stargazing was outside. Luckily, I have enough layers on, but it is cold. So prepare yourself. If you're coming in winter here, it's cold. I've seen stuff that I'm on this earth for. I'm an old guy for a long time, but I've seen some stuff that was I've never seen before tonight, just paying my attention to the sky. So yeah, um, we travel back to Cape Town tomorrow, uh, and yeah, let's just have a night of just chilling. Uh, thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the morning. And this concludes my little journey to Sutherland. As far as Dorfies are concerned, this place is packed full of things to do. Uh, it's a very small tour. I'd say the road is probably like 300 meters long and that is about it. That's the whole town. Just been two days, nothing too hectic. Um, and just come and check out what this town has to offer. I'll see you on the next one guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe at the bottom. Um, I'll catch you on the next Dorpi <laughs> or the next tour. I know I haven't been recording too often but yes I'm back into the swing of things so I will be releasing videos more often. Thanks for watching guys. Till the next one. Ciao ciao.